There it goes. Okay, so this is the name of the adapter. So basically you're going from a serial port adapter. I think that might be an RS-232 to a USB adapter. So there's some sort of chip in here that converts from one to the other. You can't just wire them together and make everything work. So the goal is to update the firmware. So that's the first step is to plug uh, this into the computer. OBD1 to OBD2 port. So string that through there. And uh, so that's all plugged in there. This is the, the Bluetooth converter. That's my power source, so I'm going to have to figure out how to turn on my car. So I'm going to have to go get the keys. Alright, so the next thing you need is the software. So what I did is uh, I just searched on 3SI OBD1 to OBD2 converter. And then look for hits. Oh look, there's my first uh, video. That's awesome. And then uh, I believe it's under this new invention Link right there. And then if we scroll through this stuff. Okay, so you download, download that, open it in the folder. Then you click up here on extract everything. And it extracts it to a file. I already have one there. So then it takes you there. And you can open that up, and if you click on the readme.png, you're going to see the instructions on how to install the firmware onto your microcontroller, which is basically your OBD1, OBD2 converter. Browse to the latest software, select the current serial, COM port, USB to serial adapter port, select can be. So let's see if we can even start all that up. Um, so here's the Arduino up and I'm going to click on the Arduino update thing. Let's try to say run. So it comes up, says hex file to write. So I'm going to hit browse. I'm not sure. Looks like there's one already in there. Okay, so the first step says to select what COM port I want to use up here. Okay, so if you're wondering what port your new serial to um, USB adapter is on, you just go to uh, the Windows, you go to Devices, look at Devices and Printers, and then it shows up on your list. If you have your driver installed properly, go to Proper Properties, go to Hardware, and then go down to your port and then go to properties and now you can change settings of your device uh, in our case we need 38 400 um, bits per second so you adjust that say okay okay and then you are able to better communicate with your Arduino uploader and so here, um, first of all, if it's not set correctly, COM3 will not show up here at all. The other thing is that you should set this to can be, and that this file is the one that he has already created in this directory for you. So there's no need to do anything with that. And this command here that runs a couple of these other programs is already set up in this directory. Select can be as a microcontroller type. All right, we can do that. If your can be powered off, turn your ignition key one click away from powering up the can be device. You want the can be off. Press the upload button and wait for the black window to appear. Turn the ignition key to power up the can be device. If you took longer than two seconds between steps five and six it will time out after five seconds and the black window will close as unsuccessful repeat again uh, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna disconnect the um, various other attachments to this since I should really only need the power cord that's coming in the side there 
uh, serial port adapter that's hooked into my computer. So that's the next attempt. Okay, so I have disconnected everything from my OBD1 to OBD2 converter. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the power right here at the various stages of key clicks because it says it wants me to start with it off. So I'm going to do that. Just going to check and make sure I have voltage right now, which I have 11.21 volts. It should be enough to do this. Okay, so I checked it, and if your key is completely off, I think that's the only way to get zero volts across here. So I turned the car completely off. I'm going to check my voltage. Yes, now I have zero volts across the CAN bus. So it's completely in the off position, and I'm going to try to run this uploader again. And, um, yep, the black thing came up. So I'm going to go turn it on real quickly. And just the first click turns on the power. That was odd because it kind of disappeared. And I did not see what happened. Okay, so what I had to do is I had to rig up my uh, battery to get a better, um, a better uh, connection. So I've got my power hooked up. Something was wrong with the way it was hooking into my car. And then, uh, so I'm going to disconnect the power, the red side here, completely. And then I'm going to hit upload. And then I'm going to connect the red power again. Ah, failed this time. Maybe it knows I've already done it. But that's the process that worked before. Next phase is to unplug this thing, plug plug it back into my car, see if I can check my engine codes. That when I tried to check my engine codes, unfortunately, or fortunately, I was not getting any engine codes. So I'm going to have to wait for more engine codes. The other thing that I'm sort of wondering is, I'm sure there's a way to set up um, the um, this AVR, where is it at? avrdude.exe I think there would be a, a nice way to set that up to check the revision of the firmware that is on your device. Hey, I just want to thank you for watching and please subscribe to the videos.